Google has two really simple to use translator options, uh, one of which involves using your email and the other one involves using Google Docs. So for email purposes, if you just are when you're logged in, click on the mail tab, it'll bring you into your mail. And I sent myself a sample email and I'm going to click on it and open it. And from here, I can translate this email pretty easily. I can come over to the top right hand corner of this email and the little drop down triangle gives you more. And when you click there, you can come down in the second to bottom option on mine is translate message. So when I click that, it'll give me some different stuff. So it's going to detect the original language. So it's in English and I'm going to this little arrow then means to translate it into that language. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little drop down menu and I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick German and it will translate that message into German for me directly in, in the body of the email. And I can go back by just clicking view original message. And this works both ways where if you are then also sending an email to someone. So if you happen to have a student or family that happens to speak another language that's not English, you can then type the whole message, message in English and then translate it to their native language. Uh, that way you can have a conversation back and forth without really needing to actually speak that language. The other thing that I can do, I'm going to delete this email real quick, is in docs, I wrote pretty much the same exact message. And here, anything that's in a doc, you can translate as well. So if I come up across the top and I choose tools, I can come down to translate document. And from here, it'll make me a whole new doc. So what I can do is I can retitle that if I want to. So it just says translated copy of what it is that I named it. And then I can choose a language from here. So if I come down here, I'm going to choose this time check and I'm going to click translate. It then automatically will make a brand new doc with that translated language in it. So this way, if you happen to pull any information from the internet and it goes into a doc or you copy and paste it into a doc, you can then translate that entire document into a whole new language.